Hey everyone, welcome back to Sozen's Gadgets. I always like a good sequel to a great product. And the $79 Tribit Flybud C2s are a completely different follow-up to the original Flybud C1 that I absolutely love so much. Now the C2 are a semi-in-ear bud. They have no silicone tips. They're a really good looking AirPod clone. I think targeted for like phone calls, audio books, for running or working out when you really wanna have full situational awareness of what's going on around you. Redundant department of redundancy department. So let's talk about the C2's sound. When bass hits, it definitely bails out on heavy bass tracks like Wangsta by 50 Cent, despite having those 13 millimeter, which are just huge drivers. Now in the first few minutes of my using these, when I ha heard hard bass hitting on these, it sounded like they might just rip a hole right through the woofers. But after an hour or so, they definitely loosened up. And for the most music, the bass is okay. Look, you'll never confuse these with the Flybud C1 in terms of bass or having like a pair of 12s in the trunk of your Honda S2000. But the bass is decent. The vocals are definitely forward. Dialogue is always clear. The C2s have decent treble but they're just not a very detailed sounding earbud. I mean, for example, guitar sounds on Stevie Ray Vaughan's Tin Pan Alley are hard to hear, hear, like around 450. It's just hard to hear all the details. I just chalk it up to that tipless design. It's just letting in a lot of ambient sound and it's not able to control the music in your ears as good as a silicone tipped earbud. Now, overall, I would say the sound is acceptable for a tipless design. I should mention, however, that the stereo separation and soundstage are quite good, and so is the audio sync for movies. With Aptex on, there's absolutely no noticeable audio lag on YouTube, Netflix, or Disney+. Plus. They're really good. Now let's check out their mics. I think they sound really good to me. They do a great job of blocking out background noise, but you can totally be the judge. Let's talk about the rest of the Trivet Flybud C2 specs. They have Aptex high def audio, They've got eight hours of battery life. They've got a reasonably small fifth pocket of your jeans friendly charging case. The lid does stay open, but it will close easily if you just lean it forward. It charges via USB-C, gives an extra 32 hours of playtime. There are four lights on the front of the case, and it's got a decent solid feel to the case itself. And in a lot of ways, I think that, that you know the way that closes is kind of convenient, but it could be annoying as well, depending on your point of view. Now the buds themselves, they rest reasonably comfortable in my ears, but your match may vary whether they would actually stay in place whether you're working out or running or you know, certainly during a high impact workout. The touch controls handle everything including volume, voice, and power on, power off by just holding the buttons. The touch controls. Now the Bluetooth 5.2 range is excellent and they do connect as soon as you open that case. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't find an IPX rating for these earbuds. If I do find out what it is, I will post it in the comments, so check back later. And they do support left or right mono mode, and they get decently loud for a tipless uh, design earbud. Look, at $79, you're buying these for their great mics, for their audio sync, and always having full situational awareness of your surroundings. And I would say just for listening to podcasts or audio books. That said, I would really, really, really like to see Tribit lower the price on these. All right, this just in. Tribit did send me a discount code for the Flybud C2s, 50% off. 50% off, this is an excellent deal. Be the first to check them out with the code you see here on the screen. Let me know what you think of the Tribit Flybud C2, and thanks for watching, and see you next time.